What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Jason the X back with another review, and today I'm here taking a look at the McFarlane Toys Witcher Wild Hunt Siri figure. Now, I'm casually um, familiar with the Witcher franchise. I um, never finished Wild Hunt. I should probably go back and do that someday. It's an admittance here on the channel. Yes, I never finished it, but I am familiar with The Witcher uh, and uh, the books and, um, of course, the Netflix series, which is great. But anyway, this is the new figure of the uh, from The Witcher. Uh, it's Siri. I, I, I literally don't know a lot about the character, but I do know that this figure is pretty dang good. So I'm going to get, get her out of the way. I don't pick up a lot of McFarlane stuff. That's usually Nate's thing. On the top, you got some windows, get down some light in the figure. At the top, you got, uh, oops, <laughs> and a oop. It's 14 and up, McFarlane Toys, bring it a little bit closer. I'll just flip that up, there you go, so you can see it. Anyway, nice background on there. You can see where the where the little stand was on the back, like he likes to do. There's the Siri on the bottom. You see, yes, I got this from GameStop. There's the, how much you pay for it. Which Wild Hunt, CD Projekt Red on the side. Yeah. Cyrilla Fiona Ellen Rhiannon on the side, her full on name. And on the back, you get a little, uh, little portrait of her here, drawing her sword, 22 moving parts, McFarlane toys, all that stuff. If you didn't hear the box hit the ground, that's because it's now lodged behind me and my chair. So there we go. Anyway, so let's take a look at Cyrilla here. Moving my camera down a little bit. And um, I mean the face sculpt as we inappropriately zoom in there. I need to loosen this thing a little bit. I feel like I'm like about to have to be careful sometimes. Like what I'm like, oh, it's only, I just need to put a little bit more muscle into it, break. So anyway, looking at the figure, she does look very good. You got the scar going over her eye. Mine has like this one, um, white piece here going down. That's not supposed to be, that's probably like a little overspray from the hair or something. But the face sculpt looks very good. The lips, the nose, the eyes, they all, they all came out very well as far as making this character, you know, look like herself. I think the head sculpt is very well done. You got the hair tied up, all white. In the bun in the back, you see a little bit of an ear coming through there. Same things to the other side. Hair droops down. The hair is of a nice uh, kind of softer material. You have to excuse my gross thumb. I smashed it earlier. Playing with the chainsaw, cutting my bushes. Yeah. Yes, I cut, I cut the hedges with the, with the chainsaw. But it worked. You got the strap going down over here. This is also a separate piece. All of this is like separate plastic up here. The shirt pieces, this is all a plastic overlay over the body. Now, we saw them use the same thing with the Geralt, with the, uh, Geralt figure. Inside, you got some more detail. Got this little strap, this little tie here. Double jointed elbows, very nice. Got this pouch back here. I like how this jade or whatever looks on our belt. The sword and hilt are removable, leaving a peg into her back. And then you can see the, the flesh underneath the uh, shirt. I do dig how this is done with the uh, soft goods. We see this a lot with NECA and uh, McFarlane. But yeah, all this is a plastic overlay. She does have like a white shirt on underneath there that you can see through. Nice detail on the belt, the leather, the pouch here. The pants are a bit plain, but I mean, that's what, that's what it is. And then the overlay over the legs is actually a separate rubber piece as well. So this is all, this will all move. Um, it's not connected, as you can see. It's nice soft plastic, nice little detail there. And you have the ball joint with pins going up into the thigh and the foot. Hinge toes, looks very good. Now she does come with a few accessories. We did see uh, the sword sheath. The sword does kind of get stuck in this sheath a little bit. I might leave them out of there. And then you've got the sword here, which looks very, very good. Nice little detail on the sculpt there. Got a plain tan down there, a little emblem on the hilt. Now her last accessory she has is like this energy effect, which is really cool. I was wondering like what it was, because they don't give you any instructions on where to put it. 
Uh, but I just figured it out. You just kind of slide the sword in here. At first, I almost thought like, it may have been like some magic or something she was using. But you just slide the sword through there. And it matches up with the blade very nicely. So you get like a, like a, like a slashing effect, like a spell behind it. I think it might look a little bit better there, but then it starts to kind of come off of the blade. I think this looks pretty good. Nice translucent plastic. It's got like some spotting or whatever through it. I think that might be from the, uh, the packaging because I haven't had it anywhere. But some of that scrapes off. I, I, I haven't had this anywhere except um, here in the house. Nothing, uh, and it wasn't on anything. But yeah, that's on there. But still, this looks very good. And of course, sword goes back in the sheath. Very tight fit once you get in there. Pegs on to the back. Just make sure you kind of push it on all the way. And there you go. Now, articulation-wise, Siri does have a toe joint that goes up, locks in the down position. You have a uh, double-pinned joint here. This joint will spin there, going into the foot. And you can see it spinning as it goes up to the calf. Goes forward about yay far. The boots will kind of allow it to go a little bit further. You can see I'm just kind of pinching it there, but it is, it will do it. There's no calf articulation. Uh, no thigh articulation. You can kind of, I mean, it's there, but this is also a rubber overlay piece over her butt. So you can kind of see the joints that you're working with here. There is a 360 degree joint there. You're just not going to get a lot out of it. You just got to kind of work it past the plastic overlay piece and you get a little bit but nothing really outward and also when you start to go outward you kind of break the sculpt up a little bit now her legs will go forward all the way look at that and also back very far the rubber piece does get out of the way for that wow look at that hey yeah and you can see where the joint is starting to show there but i mean that's really good articulation uh oh wait a minute wait a minute can she do it? Ladies and gentlemen, I think, oh, it's, it's almost there. I'd say it's like 99% full Van Damme nation. She has it. I'm telling you, that's, that's really good. You can see, kind of see the joints that you're working with here a little bit more. Got the twist there. There's your twisting joint right there. You got a hinge right here. And of course, it goes out on that hinge. Yeah, that's really good. And she does have a bit of a ball joint at her torso. But because of the rubber overlay piece, you're going to have a hard time working with it. I can kind of get to the side a little bit. And like, I don't know what I'm working with underneath here. So, I mean, I'm doing this on camera. I think that you should be careful when doing yours. But yeah, you can get some good side to side. Get some very good back articulation. That's, wow, that's, whoa. That's way more than I, I've even tried to. And I can kind of see that ball joint down there. I think I actually just moved the hips a little bit. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah, I moved the hips. But as you can see, I mean, well, we can kind of see what we're working with here. Let's see. Oh, there. So she is hinging at the hips. You are using the hips to kind of move that as well. It's just getting all that rubber overlay piece back on there. So, so yeah, that's more moving the hips. You can kind of see the ball joint that we're working with right in there as I kind of dissect her on camera. So there's definitely a ball joint, but you know, let's go ahead and get her back up here. So the arms, they do have a pin going into the chest on a universal joint. Well, another disc hinge. Goes out about that far. We'll do a 360 degree on that peg one in the chest, 360 degrees at the bicep. You've got double jointed and soft ratcheted elbows. Very nicely done. Uh, we do get a twist at the, um, at the forearm that's hidden underneath another rubber overlay piece here. And you do have another double pinned uh, joint here. Like a, Revel Tech, like a Revel Tech joint. Go up about that far, go up about that far, and it'll twist on both sides of the hand. And the hands are actually kind of a soft plastic. 
Just make sure you kind of work with that when getting her to hold her sword. And the head is on a ball joint, like a double barbell. So you can go back, not very far because of the hair. You can go forward about that far. And you can get some twists side to side. But yeah, a nicely articulated figure. It is McFarlane, so it is what we expect. You know, if you've got any McFarlane figs, you know what we're getting here. And But saying that, it's not too bad. And I think they really nailed it with this Siri figure. Uh, one thing on articulation, she does have a bit of a butterfly joint, but it's it's very slight and you're not going to get a lot of it, mainly because of the the shirt fab the shirt material. But you can see there it is. She does have one. And it's on both sides, but it's it's very very minuscule in what it can do. But there is a a butterfly joint in there somewhere. Now getting Geralt into here for a comparison, also had to note, Siri has a very small footprint. She's a bit hard to stand, so you do get a stand with that. Just a Witcher Wild Hunt stand. And standing next to Geralt, they look pretty good. Siri comes in at just about six, just over six and a half inches tall. Overall, I really like this figure. Very well done. It's gonna look next, real good next to my uh, Geralt figure, but man, they really nailed it with this. I don't get a lot of McFarlane stuff, so you have to really knock it out of the park or make something I really like for me to shell, that, shell out my hard-earned money for it. And this, this one does it very well. Anyway, guys, I'm Jason the X. Thanks for watching this video. Like it, subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you around here. Also, check out SCNS Live, and we would open up our website, supercoolnerdshow.com. But if you want to follow me personally, you can at JasonTheX on Instagram and Twitter. Until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.